BBC Sounds is about creating the best listening experience for everyone. It is about tackling the challenge of making the BBC audio content, whether that's podcasts, radio stations or music, easily accessible and discoverable to millions of users. We have over 100,000 hours of content available at any time, and it is key that each user finds what they love. We have launched the product recently, so our world-class team has been pretty busy making it happen. Radio Music Services provides the metadata to build Sounds products across multiple platforms. To ensure consistency, we've tried to define the product at the API level to create one source of truth. This allows clients to concentrate on platform-specific implementation, not integrating with all upstream services. In our team, we build microservices which support us in scaling depending on usage of particular features and metadata requirements. We use Scala to allow us to make resilient, performant and scalable APIs. Sounds on the Web is an isomorphic JavaScript application built with React, Node and Express. This means we use JS on the server side and the client side to render the app. So we use Redux to keep our application state in check so that we can keep delivering interactive features to Sounds without overcomplicating the front end. We make use of atomic design to break down the page into reusable components. The more of these we build, the faster we can test different configurations with users and build new sections of Sounds. We use analytics and multivariate testing tools so that we can measure the performance of features as we deliver them in Sounds and also to feedback the performance of content to the editorial teams. We get to spend 10% of our time as engineers innovating and keeping our skills up to date with new web technologies. The BBC Sounds app is a brand new code base. We took this opportunity to rethink everything about how we worked rather than just rebuilding the same app again. We moved to Kotlin and Swift, which helped us collaborate far more closely between iOS and Android than we ever had before. We started the project with cross-platform mob programming sessions and a culture of pairing and helping each other out. We've designed the app with a flexible, extensible architecture, allowing us to keep adding new features quickly. Since we launched four months ago, we've already added huge new features like downloads, track listing and schedule, and we've got loads more good stuff on the way. As a developer on Sounds, I feel trusted. We're listened to when we call out issues, and we're allowed the time to refactor and build a good quality, maintainable code base.